Welcome back, Seth Bling here, and I'm back on the Minecraft server. Today I'm at the Ender Ender, the XP farm. I want to do some enchanting and actually more, um, well, I guess it's enchanting. When I put, I'm going to put a lot of books onto gear uh, with the anvil, but the first thing I want to do is I want to try, let's go ahead and enchant a sword. I have a bunch of levels, and so I figured now would be a good time. Why not? Just go ahead and enchant something, and a sword is... I think the thing I want most right now is another looting sword. Just because this is my only looting sword that has sharpness, and it'd be nice to have another. Oh my. Well, that was pretty good. Got knockback 2 on it, which I don't love, but otherwise, this is an awesome sword. Uh, might have to see if I can add unbreaking to this. But wow, actually, let's let's take a look now and see. I have a bunch of books in here. Yeah, so that'll that'll be cool. I'll be able to add on breaking, maybe even sharpness five. Um, I think I have a sharpness book in here somewhere. I don't know. I had all these plans. No, it's just sharpness three. But so wow, I'm gonna get to it though. Um, I'm basically gonna make a, a second set of gear, and I'm gonna leave it in my base so that if I die, I can just get geared up right away. It's gonna involve killing a lot of Endermen. <laughs> Uh, getting a lot of experience. I guess in a moment here I actually should have enough. Yeah, okay, so let me... I guess I can go ahead add the unbreaking to this kind of ridiculous sword. So the cool thing about this is... Um, where was it? Unbreaking, unbreaking. So the cool thing about... Unbreaking protection. Uh, about this sword with the knockback is it doesn't really matter that much that it has knockback because mostly what I'm going to be using this for is either uh, killing cows or killing wither skeletons, and so um, I, I'm gonna kill cows in one hit just because it's sharpness four. And I kill the wither skeletons one hit because the uh, the the nether there has a beacon that has strength two on it. So I think sharpness four is enough to get one hit kills. If not, I I can probably get it up to sharpness five. Seems like it was still receptive to enchantments. Oh, I should have named it. Oh, is it too late? Oh, I really hope it's not too late. Uh, let's let's check it out. Oh wow, <laughs> that's weird. It says too expensive if I don't have anything, but then I so it's just barely within the range where I can still name it. Oh, well, good thing I don't have the levels for that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna name it so that I'll be able to maybe repair it. Although I kind of actually doubt I'll be able to repair it later, but might as well name it. And all it's it's just gonna consume levels. It's not gonna cost me anything else. Anyway, I'm gonna get to it. Um, I'll be back in a bit, and I'll show you all the gear that I've got. All right, time to apply the last enchantment. I got everything else done. I had to make a new anvil because that broke. Uh, it's gonna be Aqua Affinity on my rescue hat. And there we go. Okay, so now we've got what do we got? Okay, we got. Rescue Shoes, Feather Falling 4 and Breaking 3, Protection 4. We got Rescue Shirt, Protection 4. Rescue Pants, Protection 4 and Rescue Hat. Respiration 3, Protection 4, Aqua and Affinity 1. And if you look, that's pretty much the same thing I've got on all my gear. I guess the only difference is uh, my hat only has Protection 3. I should probably fix that. Actually, man, I'm not even sure I can. It might be too high cost to enchant at this point. Renamed them all so that hopefully they should be... Uh, repairable. Then I've got my Vorpal Sword, because, well, Vorpal Sword is, I don't know, it's kind of, it's the kind of sword that knocks heads off, so use this for farming uh, weather skeletons. So, all right, let's head back to my base and we'll set up the little contraption that's going to actually uh, dispense this stuff if I die and I need it. By the way, you'll notice I don't have any, uh, I don't have any hunger bars. Uh, I'm not sure I've mentioned this before, but there's a there's a regen beacon in the in the in the end here, so you can see I've got that regen effect from the regen beacon, which is really convenient. It means I don't have to waste food if I spend a lot of time here. Um, I probably would have eaten like five or six, well maybe not quite that many, but I, I would have eaten a few steaks by now, uh, just in the process of killing all these endermen. Um, so the regen beacon is definitely really helpful, and there's also speed on that beacon, which means as I'm walking down the line here, I, uh, I move a little bit faster and it makes it more likely that I'm going to hit a different enderman with each punch of my fist. So, just a little note about those beacons. I think they're pretty useful. Hey, anyway, let's, let's head back to my base now. So, we're back at my base. I've done a bit of work here. 
Um, basically, I'm going to try and make this look like one of those, in case of emergency, break glass things. So I'm actually going to be putting some glass in here in, in the front and um, just have a lot of glass. <laughs> and, uh, and I think that'll be good because uh, that'll prevent people from just like wandering into my base and like triggering this thing. <laughs> um, so I've put a pressure plate here. This is where, uh, this is what's going to trigger the whole thing. I've already put some blocks in here and just to basically test out. So I'm going to have, <clears throat> not only am I going to have it dispense my armor, but it's also going to dispense some other things. So my inventory is full. That's okay. <clears throat> so you can see the, the redstone here. Um, not only does it trigger the dispenser, which is down here, which is going to equip my boots. Uh, it also comes up and triggers a bunch of other redstone. Uh, it's going to come over and trigger some more dispensers and droppers. Now I've got a torch burnout mechanism here. So basically when I step on the pressure plate, this torch is going to turn off, which is going to allow this torch to turn on. And I don't know if you can see it, there's a piece of redstone dust on top of that block. This is a torch burnout device. So basically once this turns off, this thing is going to flicker on eight times. And that's hooked up to these droppers over here. So they are going to each drop a bunch of items. And so I'm going to fill those with items that I need multiples of. And yeah, so I still need to put in some more dispensers and um, and droppers and stuff. So I think hmm, it's going to be tricky. I think I can do that. Oh, that wasn't quite right. Yeah, I need to... Whoa. <laughs> ah, my inventory. My inventory is full of the things that I want to put in. Um, I could probably just put it right here. There we go. So let's um, let's test this out. I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put my actual gear right. Ugh. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, I guess, is put the rescue gear in here. Um, and it should it should auto equip this stuff. Okay, that's just gonna clear out some space in my inventory. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to take my normal gear, put it in this chest temporarily. Now when we walk over here, the dispenser should just equip it right onto me. Um, we didn't get the pants. That's a little weird. I wonder why we didn't get the pants. Like this, this pressure plate should just trigger this. I'm, I'm guessing it's probably powered from somewhere else, but... Hmm, I think I see the problem. So this redstone dust right here is kind of above and to the side of this. So if I, oh, um, hmm, yeah, this is tricky. So what's going on is when I step on the pressure plate, it's triggering all this redstone, which triggers, no, that should, I still don't see any reason why. It... Oh, now I got the pants. <laughs> what? Uh, let's test this again. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, this is uh, something really unexpected. Um, I okay, so now the helmet um, is the one that might not come. So let's try it. Yeah, it didn't come along. I might have to do some debugging on this to figure out what's going on. Uh, this is pretty unexpected. Um, the only thing I can think of is that the dispenser thinks it's powered right now, uh, and and it's just always thinks it's powered or something. I don't know. It worked there because I updated this. This is something about budding, basically. This is something about being powered diagonally and above. So I'm going to have to figure this out. Um, I'll try and I'll try and figure it out and they'll be right back. Well, I came up with a fix. I'm not entirely sure why it works. Um, basically, I just snake some redstone around and I'm pointing the redstone at the um, dispenser here that wasn't working. Um... I, I really can't say what's going on here. <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know. I, I think something has changed since I've last worked with dispensers, and obviously this is a bug. Um, I think it's pretty obvious that it's a bug. But um, So I'm wearing all the gear. Let me take it off. I'll put it in here. Um, and I can show you that it does work. So, bam. Got all my gear. So it does work. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I... Honestly, I think I need to do some more experimentation to figure out what's going on. So I'm going to put some more dispensers here. I think droppers here. I think these things should work fine. I'm just going to put some um, some dirt in them and let's test them. Make sure everything works as expected. So, yep, 27, 13, 13 seems good. We're getting one every time. 
or three every time, um, one from each. So great. So now what I've got is a bunch of, um, so I've got four dispensers here that will dispense my armor and then three droppers that dispense one item each and then six droppers that dispense two items each. And I, it's actually not, not all of them dispense. I think one of these, so I put 32 in each of them. Yeah, the bottom one here for probably a similar reason to why this dispenser didn't work. This one only seems to dispense one, but then that one dispenses eight and we didn't even get another one from there. I don't know. So, <clears throat> so now I need to fill it in, um, which is actually a little tricky without standing on it. You know what I can do is I can just take away <laughs> the pressure plate and that's the only thing that triggers the system. So now, um, I can fill in the stuff. Uh, inventory is full. <laughs> that'll that'll be fixed in a second, though. Uh, so let's let's put in my feet, pants, shirts, hat, and then I need my sword. Um, I made this rescue bow. I'm probably gonna actually upgrade this to power five. And what's something else I need? One of. I guess I need a pick. Um, yeah, if I'm gonna. I haven't actually prepared for this. <laughs> if I'm gonna have like a rescue mission, I'm gonna need all my gear, so I'm gonna need a pick. Um, probably don't need shovels or anything. Then I'm gonna put like arrows in. Probably, probably I'll put actually two stacks of arrows so that I get 16 arrows out of this. And then I'll want some wood, um, so I'll just put that there. I will want uh, food. Yeah. Let's put a stack of steak in there, or roughly a stack. And then the top one is also going to dispense items. So I've got, let's see, I've got blocks, steak. Um, I'm not sure what else I might need. Uh, I think here I'm going to put this splash potion of regeneration. So this is the one that only um, drops a single one. And then up here, maybe torches. I'm not sure. I don't think torches are like crucial for a rescue mission. A water bucket is actually something else I probably want in one of these. So let's think. All of these are pretty crucial. Um, maybe I'll just put a water bucket in here and only just put a single item in there. Um, yeah, a little bit of more, <laughs> a little bit more space would actually be good here. But I think I think this will do fine. And then do I have all my stuff here? So yeah, this is all good to go, and this should all work. Um, so let's put the pressure plate back. It didn't trigger anything good. And so now I need to, all I need to do is just build uh, walls around this thing. I should probably go ahead and like put in some glowstone, um, various places around here, just so that uh, mobs aren't spawning inside of this thing. So I'll just drop in a couple maybe at the bottom. This is not actually. <laughs> It's not a lot of, hmm. <clears throat> I'll just put some random glowstone in. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I guess, where I put it, because this is all going to get sealed up, and I shouldn't ever have to touch this redstone again, hopefully. <laughs> um, although, you never know. I do like to be able to go back and, and replace the uh, circuit components, whatever. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to make a little frame uh, as, just as high as I need to. So right about, a, I think this is the right height. Yeah, so I'm going to make a frame that goes around, I think this should be good, hmm, I might need to be one higher, because I'm going to have to have a block on top of this, so, yeah, let me remove these, <clears throat> and I'll actually go one higher, and then everything out, out here is going to be glass, and I will put in um, some glowstone here too, and this is going to be this the roof of the thing, the ceiling, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a little bit taller than it is wide, which might look a little, little bit funky, but we'll just have to wait until we see the end result. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to change anything about the dimensions or anything, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it is an odd number of blocks. I think I can just put a, a block of glowstone right here. It's seven by seven, so that's the center. Let's make sure that the corners... Um, so I'm looking at my block light, which is 7 right here, which is no good. Because a mob could actually spawn there, and like if a creeper spawns there, I'll be sad. So, I do have my um, 
Silk Touch Shears, although I'm not sure I'm actually going to be able to... Oh, I think I just broke some redstone. <laughs> uh, What just happened? Yeah, I must have broken some redstone. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to do four pieces of glowstone rather than one, I think. Um, I need to get back up. Anyway, I'm... I'm gonna I'm gonna do that pro off screen probably and show you the end result uh, and then I'm gonna fill this entire um, this entire area here with glass and put up a sign and you'll see what it looks like uh, so we'll be right back with the finished results okay here we are all done um, got these signs in case of emergency break glass and again I I think that's good because people won't randomly come in and take all my gear um, it's a little tall it kind of looks awkward in my opinion i might i might try and do something to make it look a little bit uh, nicer a little bit less monolithy <laughs> uh, the back and sides are undecorated maybe i'll put something there um, i have definitely have room for a design so we'll see maybe in future episodes you'll see a little bit more decoration on this um, that's it for now i'm that i'm gonna do on that that should be really useful if i die somewhere I need to go rescue my gear quickly uh, now I want to go ahead and I want to move on to something else uh, x-rays so with uh, 1.7 a lot of the x-ray machines broke um, actually grab some fences and I'll show you so what you used to be able to do is you would like dig a little hole in the grounds let's find a good spot for this you dig a little hole in the grounds and you'd like you could put fences down, and then you could um, place uh, like redstone blocks on the fences. You'd be able to see out, but that doesn't work anymore. Um, so I found uh, I looked around the internet a little bit, and uh, I found some places that that uh, or some videos that helped me deal with that. And so I've got a couple of nice little X-ray machines that don't require uh, a lot of effort or um, placing in whatever blocks um, now actually let me let me go um, build that again so you can you can get an x-ray machine to work uh, with the fences uh, and the the redstone or whatever by um, if if you like jump jump last second you can do it so like if I jump whoops didn't work jump and place mm, it's kind of hard the timing is kind of hard there we go. Uh, then the x-ray does work. And you know, I can see around. You can see all the stuff I built down below. A lot of my speed mining uh, areas that I've cleared out and everything. Um, so that, that kind of works, but it's kind of a pain. Now, something else you can do uh, with that. So basically, the way it works is if, if you place the block and your head's inside of it, it doesn't work. But if you place the block and then your head clips into it after it's been placed, that's when the x-ray works. And eventually, actually, it'll go, it'll revert back to what it was before, and you'll just see the red of the inside of the block. Um, but you can uh, do cool things. Oh, whoops. No, I don't want to break this yet. So you, you can... Oh, my God. There we go. Uh, one thing you can do that's really, really easy to do this is you can just come over right next to the fences just come as close as you can place a block on the bottom place a block on the top and then my head is not inside of this block yet so now if I go inside I have a great view of everything it didn't require me to time a jump um, you know like jump and then place a block or whatever and uh, and I can see I can even see directly below me it's pretty cool this one's pretty good so so I like that a lot. Now I've set up a couple stations in my base for that, for this sort of thing. So basically the idea is um, that, okay, I'm going to come over here. So I have I have a spot over here. It's got a fence and it's got some, um, some redstone blocks. So if I just want to do some x-raying, I can drop down in here by mining out these two things. And then do that little trick with the fence, and then come over here, and I can look around. Now, I can't see in this direction because the fences are blocking it, so I can just jump out, mine these two guys, and it's really quick. Assuming I don't have any redstone blocks already in my inventory, it'll just go right to my hotbar, and very useful. 
Now that does require a little bit of mining. So uh, I do have over here some uh, a version that doesn't require any mining, but it's got other restrictions. And it's going to look like magic, but I'm going to right click right in the corner here. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a minecart now. So I right clicked into the minecart. Now I can't see straight down and actually a lot of my vision is obscured, but it doesn't require any mining. I just uh, just get in the minecart and, and hop out. It doesn't require any place, any blocks or anything. So there is that. Um, and yep. Uh, but I actually, I think I prefer the other version over there, but I want to show you how to build this just in case. Basically you dig down two blocks deep, two blocks deep. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop this out. Um, so I need to make a minecart uh, go right here above the hole where I'm going to put the minecart. I'll just dig out the block so it falls into the hole. And then I need two redstone blocks. So I'll put one, two. Uh, I'm going to drop uh, two pieces of dirt, knock this out. I'm going to drop into the hole right here next to it. And I'm going to use, put a place a piston up here so that's facing down. And then a button. And this is going to push the redstone blocks into uh, into the the spot where the the, the minecart is. So now I can just get in the minecart and a mix ring. So this is pretty cool, pretty useful, I think. Um, now the one thing is I'm in this two block wide hole. Sometimes this will happen. Uh, so I'll, if I just drop down a, a slab here. I can still right click into the minecart and when I exit the minecart I'll be on top of the slab. Since I have jump boost uh, beacon in my base, I can just jump out of this one and a half block tall hole. Uh, this won't work if you're just out in the wild or whatever, but uh, but for my purposes in my base it does work. So I don't know, I, I just kind of wanted to educate people as much as possible about this stuff. I think it's pretty useful stuff being able to see, uh, being able to see all the all the stuff that's underground. Uh, pretty soon here, I think I'm going to try and make a mob mob trap system. And when I do that, I'm going to want to make sure the that the caves are all cleared out underground. So like right now, if I look, I can see there's like a cave or not necessarily a cave. I think it's a abandoned mine shaft over there. Um, so I can like kind of triangulate the the, the, the positions of those uh, those things by using the X-rays um, and just like figure out. The exact direction I need to go in order to get uh, right to those underground caves, so I could like place, uh, you know, place a marker over here. So like that's the direction I need to go from here, and then I could do the same thing from over there, and then see where those two lines intersect, and then mine straight down and and find the cave. So I'm gonna be, probably be doing that a bunch to light up all the caves around my base. Uh, there's not that much that I need to light up. But anything that isn't lit up is going to cause a mob trap not to work very well. So it, it will require some work. There's a ravine over there. Cave. Yeah. So it's going to require some work. So hopefully you found that educational. Uh, it definitely is pretty useful to have this stuff in my base just set up already. So that I uh, I can just x-ray whenever I need to. Oh, this is terrifying. Uh, so I guess I just looked inside of here. I guess a baby zombie villager, not villager, baby zombie, spawned inside of there. <laughs> it was too dark. He spawned inside of there and he grabbed all my gear. <laughs> so he's got all my diamond gear and everything. I really hope he drops it. I think they fixed that bug. Um, but I gotta kill this guy. Oh my god. This is terrible. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is... Beastly, and if I die, I've got no rescue gear. He's just gonna keep killing me. Um, hold on, let's see if we can. Okay, I put myself out. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, if I keep, oh my god, if I keep him on the like jumping here. Yeah, I think I can just kill him safely. Wow, that is bad though. <laughs> I really hope I get all my stuff back, and I'm gonna damage it a bunch in the meantime. Um. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, I need to make sure this is all lit up. Look at all that stuff on the ground. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at my F3, the block light. So it's 8 here, 8 here, 7. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit too dark right in this spot. This must have been where he spawned. I can't believe... I can't... It's been... I stopped recording 
from the previous segment about like 30 seconds before I started recording again. So, wow. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, I gotta, I gotta make this thing more secure. I guess I'll just add some glowstone in and stuff. But that was not great. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I guess in here, actually, right on top of the pressure plate here is uh, light level six too. All right. I'm gonna fix this, and that's gonna wrap up the episode. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, actually. That's good. It looks like all my gear didn't take any damage either. So I I think that seems like a little bit of a bug actually, but uh, it's I guess it's a bug that's favorable for me. <laughs> um, yeah, alright, well, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching.